Hey survivors, welcome to Dead Matter Vlog 05. We've been super busy and tons of progress has been made in all departments since our last development update. Let's get straight into it. Our talented lead artist Shirk has created plenty of buildings since our last vlog. We've got a new set of cabins, as well as a new set of public toilets to go with them. We care about all of the details, especially number 1 and 2. Shirk has also created some super awesome commercial warehouses. They're perfect if you're looking for some crafting supplies, or if you're looking for a medium-sized shelter for your group of survivors. Shirk has also created a church which will be found throughout our map, featuring a hidden office as well as a bell tower. Shirk has also done another pass on the police station, mainly focusing on the basement area, which now includes an armory, one of the most reliable sources for mid-tier weapons and gear. I'll stop talking for a second to let you take in the atmosphere. Nomad has created a Nera evacuation center. These will randomly pop up in different locations on different servers. They'll contain a plethora of medical supplies, Nera evacuation centers are also a hot spot for the infected. Plan accordingly. Nomad has also upgraded his Firewatch Tower in order to bring it up to speed with the standard of Shirk's buildings. You should feel a lot more at home should you decide to take one of these over for yourself. Do you hate people walking into the same building as you? Do you just hate said people? Want to attract a horde to the building just to mess with them? You now can! If someone pulls the alarm on you, you can just reset it from the control panel. Our weapon and camera systems have received another pass. We now have an adaptive peeking system to ensure that you can always see your target when aiming down sights from behind cover. We've now implemented a proper set of reload animations for the Mosin Nagant, including a stripper clip reload. Scopes, holographic sights, and red dot sights have all received their first implementation. They are close, but not final, and we will be doing a polish pass in the future to address this. Our talented animator, the shiny Haxorus, has been adding six new weapons to the game. They're not finished just yet, but they're close enough that we feel comfortable showing them off. The HR-75, the best gun to come out of Croatia since 1975. The HP-9, a pistol commonly found in military loot areas. This one is a personal favorite of mine. AK-74, accurate, reliable, Russian, and upset. The Makarov, renowned for being a tier 0 pea shooter, and in Dead Matter, it's not much different. It's got 8 rounds, shoots 9mm, and doesn't really pack a punch. The E92, commonly used by the US as well as some Canadian armed forces. This weapon will be commonly found in helicopter drops. It's got a 15 round magazine, and it's pretty sweet. Last, but certainly not least, the Wood Axe. Still a work in progress, but once completed, this will unlock the door to us rapidly adding any backlogged melee weapons that can utilize the same animation set. Construction signs have been added to the game. Want to get your trading career off the ground? Some of these signs can be towed with a vehicle, and you'll be able to set the text that appears on the screen. There have been plenty of minor changes to our inventory system. Along with the new UI from our last development vlog, you can now place objects onto the ground. In the future, you'll be required to set up the tent after it is placed on the ground. Item organization just got a little bit better, as you can now store items in sub-containers which allow easier management of your inventory as well as a slight bonus to your overall carry capacity. You can now pick up large objects such as jerry cans, metal, and wood sheets for barricading, propane tanks for barbecues, and much more. This is a very early implementation of a generic system that we'll be forging a lot of gameplay elements from. Our old doors sucked, so we went and made some new ones. You can now physically interact with the doors, even though they just use fancy math instead of actual physics. You can also knock on doors. Just keep in mind that the infected can run through the door just as easily as you can. If you'd like to get your own road named after you, or a personalized hockey jersey, all while supporting Dead Matter, head on over to our Indiegogo page. There's a wide variety of once in a lifetime perks that you can get in exchange for your support. Show us some love via social media, Twitter, Facebook, our forums, and our community Discord, which is extremely active. We've also created a thread to discuss this video, and there is a link to that in the description. We're a tiny no-bullshit team. Our goal is to make a damn good survival game that we actually want to play. We aren't great project managers, but we've got a really talented team, and we strive to regularly update and interact with our community. Listening to your feedback enables us to make a better game, so please stop by on our Discord or on our forums. We listen and care about feedback. It's important to us. 
Thank you for watching this to the end. We truly appreciate your support. See you in the new year. The team has been extremely busy over the last few weeks and we're excited to show you what we've been up to. Our lead artist has completed a polish pass on a collection of commercial buildings. We've now got a pizzeria, complete with enough leftover ingredients to keep a group of survivors fed for a week. A clothing store, with plenty of clothes and no food at all. A mattress store, useful for single player and co-op where your survivor will be required to sleep. A dollar store, containing nutritionally poor food and a variety of cheap goods from China. A hardware store, containing a plethora of crafting supplies and other valuable loot. A hair salon, offering very little value, unless you decide to get creative and make use of some of the crafting ingredients that spawn here. A small grocery store, which provides access to a large quantity of food, if you're willing to eat with a target on your back. A bookstore, whether you're reading a book to enhance your character's ability or to improve their comfort. Jimmy's, a casual place for cheap coffee and donuts. Our Canadian friends will feel right at home here. Winslow's family-friendly burger chain, a great fixer-upper with a massive kitchen, perfect for a small group of survivors. Size does matter, Dick's Diner. All three variations of this burger chain are now ready to be occupied by survivors. Safeway, our largest building in Dead Matter, has also received a polish pass. We hope you don't run into anyone else while you're exploring this massive supermarket. We love detail. Every commercial building in Dead Matter will have an employee-only area. These will vary from building to building and will sometimes contain an employee bathroom to help you keep stocked up on water until the pipes run dry, of course. Plan accordingly. Nomad has also been chipping away at bringing some new props as well as some additional buildings into the game. Please note that these buildings have not received their polish pass yet. Shirk has set up some new cliff and rock models that blend perfectly into our terrain. We're excited to use these in our world. There have been some enhancements made to our ambient lighting system. Now the time of day, weather, and sun angle affect the color and specular strength of the light source. We've now got a brand new major location, the police station. It's the second largest building in Dead Matter, containing offices, cells, a vehicle garage, an armory, and an evidence locker. It's also our first commercial building with an underground section to it. Bring a flashlight in case the power goes out while you're down there. Our weapon movement now uses inertia. Using a weapon now feels much less floaty and much more responsive than before. Heavier weapons, such as the AKM, have more inertia. We've got a new batch of weapons implemented into the game. The G18C, a rare, late-game weapon that must be looted from a bunker. The rate of fire on this thing is downright scary. The 1911. American as apple pie and extremely satisfying to use. The Mosin Nagant. Still a work in progress, but once completed, it will be one of the best early game weapons you can get your hands on. We have a new GPU-based gore system which looks great and is performance friendly. Even with a massive horde, our gore system chugs along without a single hitch. We've performed a pass on our entire user interface, as well as our inventory system. Dragging and dropping items feels much more responsive than before. We've also implemented the first pass of our clothing system. These are using placeholder assets, and while these will be replaced soon, we felt that it was important to show off how we intend our clothing system to work. Giving players tools to navigate our world is really important to us. We've implemented a system for our artists to use that allows for quick and easy creation of highway signage. Every exit will have a unique number. Every overhead sign on the highway will contain useful information to help you navigate the world. We've even got a minor system that ensures all satellite dishes always point south. We reuse the system from the highway signage to generate random license plates for every car in Dead Matter. Firefights will now be a lot more intense. We've added leaning as well as a ballistics system. This system will accurately simulate bullet penetration and ricochet. This should lead to heightened intensity during gunfights. 
Thanks for checking out the latest Dead Matter development vlog. If you like what you've seen so far, you can back us on Indiegogo. Backing us via Indiegogo will allow you to access our alpha as soon as it's made available to backers. We are a tiny team and we are continually blown away by all of the support that you guys have showered us with. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making our vision a reality. We are a community-oriented development team, and if you want to get involved, I've dropped some links to our Discord server, our forums, and our social media pages. The rest of this video is just gameplay from about two weeks ago. There was a couple issues involving the rain particles, but it's mostly just a test of the atmosphere and mood. We hope that you enjoy it, and thank you again for watching our devlog.